All right, so this is my presentation on there's an app for that. Really quickly before I dive into the two apps that I went into more detail with, the apps I reviewed um, were Kahoot, Canva, Google Forms, Google Calendar, and Zoom. The two apps that I'm going to be demonstrating today are Kahoot and Google Forms. Um, the first app I wanted to focus on is Kahoot. Uh, Kahoot is an assessment tool that is used for quizzes and reviews. Um, teachers and students can create their own Kahoot or they can go into Kahoot and they can type in um, a type of Kahoot that they're looking for specifically and sometimes it'll pop up um, and it'll give you uh, questions to answer so you don't even have to uh, create your own. Um, so it got 4.3 out of 5 stars on the App Store. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of review Kahoot and show you how it works. So here I have, um, this is my Kahoot page. So this is a quiz that I made um, a few years ago and it's on some of the muscles um, in our body. So to start, um, I would go over here and press start obviously and then um, I would click start again so this is classic mode I haven't really played around with the other types of modes there are um, and I don't have the upgraded version I believe it costs um, money to get the upgraded version so I just go with the classic mode um, for the cahoots that I use so to start, um, players would either type in, I'm going to turn off that music actually so you can hear me. There we go. Um, so players would start by typing in um, either the, um, the URL at the top or they would scan the barcode. Um, now players could either play with um, their phones, um, iPads, uh, different tablets they might have, or they could play with their own Chromebooks that they might have. Um, so I'm going to pretend to use my phone. Um, so I'm going to open my camera. I'm going to scan the barcode. And if you do it that way, the game pin already is set for you. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my nickname. And once you get all the students or the players' names up on the board, you can press Start. Um, this lock button is either, you can leave it unlocked and then people can join in um, as the game is going. But if you lock it, that means that no one else can join um, while the game is going on. So I'm just going to keep it unlocked for now. And I'm going to press start. So this specific quiz, like I said, talks about muscles. Um, so on my phone... The questions are going to appear as the the different shapes and colors. Um, so on the screen, it'll show the question, it'll show the picture, and it'll show the different um, answers. Students get 30 seconds to answer. It could be longer depending on um, what the teacher sets the time limit for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the yellow circle that says quads. And I got it right. So it'll show the number of students that got the question right, and it'll show the number of students that got the questions wrong. It'll never show specifically like which student got the questions right or which students got the questions wrong. Um, but if I click next, it'll show the scoreboard. So it'll only show, I believe it's the top three people um, that are, have the most points. And the points are based on how quickly you answer the question and if you answer it correctly. So if I were to answer the question in the first second and I got it correct, that would also contribute to the amount of points I get. Um, so that's kind of how it works in that regard. Um, on my phone, you can see if you got the question correct or incorrect, and you can see um, your total score. Um, so that is Kahoot. It's a great assessment tool for students. It's a great way for teachers to assess students. Um, and it's also great for if students are doing 
projects or presentations. This is also a great tool for students to use um, like at the end of a lesson or at the beginning of a lesson, like if you're having students do activities and, and games in your class. Um, it's just a great interactive way to assess uh, students' knowledge.